best things we can do for our bodies, but where your water comes from or how you drink it, well, that matters. The drinking water for more than 2 million North Carolinians is tainted with forever chemicals known as PFAS. These chemicals aren't something you can see or taste. They're called forever chemicals because they don't respond to chemical and thermal breakdowns and can remain in the environment for many years. A big question surrounding PFAS is where exactly do they come from? Well, they were created way back in the 1940s. They were made to help fabric resist stains, also for those nonstick coatings that many of us have on our cookware. It's also in foam used by firefighters. These chemicals though have been linked to health issues. In fact, this map is from the nonprofit advocacy group Environmental Working Group. All those light blue dots represent drinking water with PFAS levels above the EPA's limit. And you can see those dots really all over the WBTV region. The EPA put national limits on PFAS in drinking water for the first time just last year. Our public water systems have a time span of about five years to get in compliance. But a UNC Charlotte professor already created a solution and is now working to bring it to the public. Our Natisha Lance sits down with him to find out more about the technology that's helping wipe out forever chemicals. So we start with the natural material, zeolite, right? These are just basically like dirt. For eight years, University of North Carolina Charlotte chemistry professor Jordan Poehler has been working to solve a problem that touches everyone. We have developed some new technology based on sustainable natural materials. The technology strips PFAS and other contaminants like pharmaceuticals from water with what Poehler calls green chemistry. Because we don't have to create an environmental problem while we're trying to solve an environmental problem. PFAS, or for Ever chemicals are man-made, used in Teflon, firefighting foam, and facial makeup. And they bioaccumulate in your body until they reach a toxic level, and then you have a lot of health concerns, including cancer, um, fe fetal, early, early childbirth, and things like that. So, yeah, big problems. Last fall, Polar received one of eight inaugural grants from the North Carolina Innovation Grant Project. The grant will help Polar scale up his research to partner with a manufacturer that could sell it to the public. So all I'm going to do is going to take a little of this contaminated water and put it into our zeolite nano resin. Polar showed us how his technology filters those chemicals out. And in just tens of more seconds, it'll be completely gone. Traditional filters for your refrigerator or under the sink commonly found at big box stores remove PFAS, but Polar says the chemicals are not really gone. So what you've done is you've concentrated all the impurities onto that filter and then you put it into a landfill and all those impurities leach back out. Polar's research shows his method not only removes the PFAS. Each one of these green bars is how much stuff, how much of that PFAS mm -hmm. the materials can hold. But it can also be regenerated. We can keep on going for hundreds of cycles without any loss in performance. So it's a sustainable solution to a really difficult environmental problem. A 2023 study found nearly half of the country's tap water was laced with PFAS. Polar's technology could help make those forever chemicals disappear. Yeah, it's really, really rewarding working on something that could have a direct impact on people. Natisha Lance for On Your Side Tonight. Polar hopes with the grant investment, they'll be able to sell the filter materials to the public within a year. We'll continue to follow the progress and keep you updated.